Hey everybody, Glenn the Busker here, and I'm going to give you my thumbs down review of the Honer Flex Rack. Uh, that's supposed to be like a flex rack photoshopped over a young Bob Dylan or something there. Corny. Anyway, let's talk about this, okay? I mean, the construction itself is uh, it's very sturdy. There's a lot to it, though. You know, there really is. Um, this part is really top heavy. So you see this thick part that uh, goes to the back of your neck. If it wasn't for that really thick part, while you're playing, I mean, this thing would be riding up. At least it would on me. So that is uh, caveat number one. Now the... Uh, the clamp is rubberized, so it doesn't scratch your heart. Well, okay, that's fine. These screws that hold uh, that hold it together, though, I mean, you have really got to, I mean, you know, it's like one of those uh, as-seen-on-TV hand-exercising things. So you grab your heart, and you want to get it. Okay. Now, as far as putting it into the angled position there, um, you hear that? Those are like uh, plastic alligator teeth on each side. So once you do clamp it, everything tightened, none of this is moving. So um, you know what? If you were using this like in the studio or something, um, that'd probably be a, a good thing, but you know, when you're busking or playing a stage, I mean, that, that's it's not really a feature you need. But here's what made me really want to uh, get one of these, is that you see it's screws on either side, big screws. There's a lot of moving parts on this thing. But you can actually raise the harp or lower it as needed. And you can angle it so that it is like in the perfect position for how you play. So that is what made me really want it. But, you know, with all those screws holding everything together, I mean, this thing has a lot of pivot to it. Now, when you put it on, and you want to tighten it, you got to use both hands, obviously, because you got like these Frankenstein bolts sticking out. So you lift it into position. And this isn't where I need it, so I'm just going to do one side to hold it there. When you tighten one side, you have to hold the whole thing up because the other side is still loose and it will go askew. So let us just put this thing where I can play it. And I dig, there we go. Nice and tight. Okay. So let's get this thing together and, okay. Yeah, yeah. So do I do. And I'll go like Okay, so it's where I want it. I feel like I'm wearing like a giant piece of orthodontal equipment, you know? But, you know, when, I, when I'm busking, you know, I don't keep the harp on. I change keys a lot. So if I want to change a key, do one harp song after the other, got to really kind of fight with this thing. You know, hang on, one of the teeth popped. And uh, as far as like taking it off in between songs, you know, once it's there, if you want to keep it, in that one position so that you don't have to uh, fiddle with it again. You can do that. But at least with me, it's uh, a little hard getting off my lumpy head. And also, it's like I, I got no movement here. It's like my chin is holding this thing up and down. Hey, hey I go like this. I'm Jordy LaForge. <laughs> Read a book, kids. Anyway, there are too many moving parts on this thing. It is bulky. It requires you to use two hands. It requires you to spend more time and focus during your show, during your set, 
having to mess with a piece of equipment. And, uh, you know, it just seems like Honer missed the mark. I mean, it is, I guess it's nicely engineered. Um, it's a well-made accessory, but it wasn't well thought out. Because all they're trying to do is improve on, hey, a classic. Very simple, very easy. You got the little back thingy doodles to hold your harp there. And you got one screw you got to deal with. So, you just put it on, you put in your harp, you tighten, and you play. See, easy peasy. You know, I love Honer instruments. I used to use uh, Special 20s all the time, and I recently started on the Rockets. These th if They don't lie. This is one of the loudest harps you can get. Their instruments... Are perfection but their accessories uh, they really do tend to be crap um, but I was a little disappointed in uh, in this one so uh, yeah I bought it yesterday I'm gonna be returning it um, tomorrow when I have time in the morning and uh, yeah $45 as opposed to uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks depending on what brand and where you buy it but anyway I am Glenn the Busker. Hey, feel free to go over to Facebook and join my group known as Glenn the Busker. I keep up on chronicling uh, busking in Charleston, South Carolina, and Atlanta. And I try to keep up on uh, the local busking laws wherever I am. So it's a good resource for that. And it's a good place for buskers to pop up and say hey. But uh, take care, everybody. And fat hats. Thought you were gonna turn this off for me. God damn it. Alright.